The Katana is a multi-mission USV, unmanned surface vessel. It's dual used, can be used either for unmanned uh, tactics uh, and missions or manned missions. It can very, very easily be switched between manned and unmanned. Uh, it's an 11.9 meter uh, vessel, allows uh, you to uh, maintain sea level 4. Uh, the maximum speed is 60 nautical miles and the average speed is usually 30 nautical miles allowing you about 10 hours of usage in the range of uh, 350 nautical miles. It has massive uh, surveillance uh, capabilities allowing 360 degrees of, uh, of uh, vision uh, transmitting back over a very high-end uh, data link that overcomes the uh, multi-pass uh, conditions in, uh, in extensive uh, sea levels. It has night vision and also a satellite communication uh, that allows uh, some uh, capability as well. Uh, we're equipped with a ROSI system that allows you to, uh, to fire uh, uh, smoke grenades as well as uh, shock grenades and, and uh, also uh, real grenades. This is a new offering uh, to, uh, to a growing market. It's a multi-mission uh, vessel allowing you to do surveillance and a lot of other things that can't be discussed over camera but the imagination can allow you to take you to different places. So it's a, it's a very multi-role kind of uh, capability that helps you uh, where, where you are doing a surveillance over, uh, over a long period of time and also overcome sea conditions because the, the vessel never gets uh, seasick. So it can replace a lot of manned kind of missions with an unmanned capability uh, reducing the risk to life. Sometimes you just need to check whether a target is a real target or, or a neutral one and then you can uh, do it with an unmanned vessel and not risk any life in the process and also you can save money uh, with not powering it with, uh, with men but with uh, USVs which are naturally unmanned. There is a lot of interest from, uh, from almost every Navy so this is actually one of the more uh, interesting things to navies today. Naturally this is the early days so navies need to change their tactics and the way they do missions in order to, to accept this kind of capability but I'm, I'm, I'm positive that in a few years, let's say five years from now you will see a lot of USVs in the market uh, in various navies doing various missions. This is something that is a, is a no-brainer. It will definitely come into the market in, in baby steps perhaps because navies need to be can, uh, sure that this uh, technology really works. For example, we offer an uh, anti-collision capability which is automatic that avoids other ships but this need, needs to be uh, not only tested but also uh, the level of confidence in the decision makers needs to be high.